Haha, <laughs> penis shot. Sweet. How much do we get in there? Oh, we get loads in there. Nearly cropping the cock out. That guy seems miles away. Makes my head look tiny. My name is Matt, welcome back to the shop and today we're going to just kick off with some very very basic calculations before we get into uh, a bore stroke relationship and all the rest of it. So we'll do a load of these, I'll spit all these out really quickly. But um, this is about if you want to calculate the volume of an engine or a cylinder or whatever. So what we need to do is we need to work out a volume, a volume is the area. So how big your circle is and how many of these circles go down basically so you need a length as well so you need a length now what do you need for your area well you need 2 pi r um not 2 pi r fucking i'm just talking exactly what i want about so um you've got pi there and you've got your radius there and you've got your square there so your pi is 3.142 you do not need anything more accurate than that ever you can even get away with 3.14 the reason why is because uh, pi to 18 decimal places is the circumference of the observable universe down to the size of a proton so when you think about it like that and that's only 18 decimal places you're measuring a cylinder you do not need anything more than three decimal places holy shit um, your radius is your bore, or half of your bore, um, so obviously you know that's times by your uh, half of your bore, and then it's half of your bore again, which is the square bit. All is good, all is gravy, all is whatever. Now, if you're actually trying to work out the volume of your cylinder, I suggest that you do everything in centimetres. Um, you know, your bore generally comes in, it'll just say something like 100, uh, 100 uh, millimetres or what have you, and then you might have a stroke of 86 millimetres. Now, the reason why it's millimetres and I haven't done any conversion on that is because it's not in the 1954. But what I suggest you do is when you do these calculations is just go up uh, one order of magnitude and you'd call this 10 centimetres. Oh, fucking hell, fire CC. That's what we're trying to do. Idiot. So you do uh, 10 centimetres, that's what I'd call it, and then you just do 8.6. You know, so you just do 8.6 centimetres. This just makes everything easier right from the get-go. It's not hard, decimal place one over, one order of magnitude up. It's not fucking difficult to do. So this would be 3.142, and then it'd be times half of this, which is five, times half of that again, which is five, Let's get my calculator out. <laughs> uh, 5, 5, 5 is 25 and 3.142 is 78.55. I'm not doing that on my fucking head, it's a Saturday. Aren't you mad? And then, if you ti and then what you do is, as soon as you've done that, you then times this directly by your uh, length as long as it's in centimetres. This is in the same units, so what's that, 8.6? So you've got 675.53. CC, there you go, you've got it, that's it. That's your volume of your cylinder worked out. And then if you just times this by four, it's 2.7. 2 2.7 litres or 2,702 CC. But it's just your area, your length, it's as easy as that. Hope that makes sense. And off the back of this, we'll do another one about doing your um, swept volume, total volume, compressed volume, blah, 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 blah. Hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit. 